I'm Will, and this is my 1963 International Harvester pickup truck. I just towed this truck 100 miles on a broken trailer, so continue watching this video to find out how I did it and what I went through. It's a good one. Okay, so here's my trailer, tandem axle. Um, this has been sitting for nine months now because you can't really tell, but that leaf spring is broken and it should be sitting there, but it's not. Um, it's broken, so it's sitting up on the frame. So the deck of the trailer is a little bit lower right here. Big deal. Basically what I'm doing is when I hit a bump, that leaf spring is gonna wanna drop. So I'm making a bracket right now to kind of hold it there. Um, and yeah, so I've got one more axle in case this doesn't work, but I'm gonna put an 8,000 pound truck on this trailer and tow it back, which is a two hour drive. So check out what I got going on. So I'm gonna weld this together. It looks kind of junky, but it'll work. Um, basically just a hanger for the leaf spring. So the leaf spring will sit in here. This will be welded to the frame of the trailer and it's just gonna keep that spring from dropping out of here. So we'll see how it goes, stay tuned. So before beginning a welding project, make sure you buy a welding head. I didn't do that. So my welds look absolutely terrible, but they're not gonna go anywhere. And um, no one has to really look at them. So I've got the bracket built, the brackets welded underneath the trailer, it's done. So I'll show you that in just a second. After that, um, I need to do a little bit of wiring on this thing to get the lights going and then throw the fender back on this side and I should be good to go. So here is my MacGyver of a bracket. So there's my bracket. Um, it looks horrible, but it's gonna work. So it just hangs from the frame and it's at the same angle of the leaf spring. So it just kind of hangs the leaf spring there and keeps it somewhat in place. Leaf springs are tempered steel so you can't really weld to them. And that's why this thing broke in the first place because someone decided to weld it together. So it should be fine for a two hour drive with an 8,000 pound truck on it. We'll find out. Going for a strength test now. I've got the jack on the frame of the trailer to let the axle hang and look at that. Wheel is off the ground. That didn't happen before I built that. So. It's almost four in the morning now. I can't get the trailer lights to work. Um, it's not a problem with the trailer. It's a problem with the truck. So I've been chasing down wires and fuses and grounds and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna turn it in for the night because I can't think anymore. I'm turning it in and starting first thing in the morning again on it. Probably not first thing, but get the lights working. I'm gonna tack the fender so on. So here's my idea for the fenders. I'm gonna take these little pieces of thin tape and I'm gonna weld them right about there at an angle. So here's my line where I want it. So I'm gonna weld that at an angle right there. And then when I put the fender in, this will sit down on the frame of the trailer and I'll be able to weld that. Okay, fender is on. We're good to go. Looks horrible. I don't care. It's not going to fall off. Let's hit the road. We are on the road. Trailer is in tow. I'm headed to Johnny's house right now to uh, give the lights one more try. Because right now I don't have any lights. I uh, went over to Johnny's house. Couldn't get the lights working. Um, so, I'm heading up with no lights. But that's okay, because it's daylight. And I'm, I'll am i be on the highway for two hours and there's no traffic. So, I won't need brake lights. Um, yeah, it's doing good so far. I've, I've uh, been on the road for like 30 miles now or so. Rear axle is still underneath the thing. So we'll see how it goes. I've got about an hour and 
45 minutes in front of me or so. There's this little Toyota truck with the tailgate says Studebaker on it. And it looks factory. I want to know why. Getting off on 49. We got 24 more miles to go. The trailer's doing awesome. Okay, everyone, a little update. It is the next day now. Um, got the truck loaded up last night. But anyway, I just had to jack up one of the fenders because it was a little close to the tire when we come for it and re-weld it. Um, I don't have any trailer brakes. I still don't have any lights. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm hitting the road. I just took a little test drive and as I was going down the road, I heard a and this little guy got in my tire of the trailer. So I just plugged that. This drive's gonna go great. We should be good now though. Just stopped to check my straps and get me some coffee. So I'm hitting, well, I'm hitting the main highway right now. So far, this thing is ridiculously heavy. Too heavy for this truck, too heavy for this trailer. Keep in mind, the trailer is still broken. I've made it 30 miles already, so 70 or 80 more to go. I got my my buddy with me. Apache, say hi. So, here goes nothing. So I'm expecting to get pretty decent gas mileage on the way down. And when I mean down, I mean this drive is all downhill. So the trailer is just kind of pushing me and I don't have to be on the throttle very much. You can see the truck back there. It's following me awful close. I'm about 40, 45 miles into my drive. Two cops have passed me so far and it was a little nerve wracking. Little update, I'm about 20, 25 minutes away from my home exit. Uh, trailer's doing great truck's doing great. I have to pee so bad right now. So, right the, uh, the, there is my house. Here I am, slightly broke down. The Tahoe got a little bit warm because I just pulled that thing up a super steep hill. So, I'm gonna sit here and wait for it to cool. Well, down. while the truck's cooling down over there, figure I'll take him for a quick little walk. <laughs> 